told UBC that he is seeking a partnership with government to initiate projects that create employment through ICT. Every moment, youth are seeking employment in both the public and private sector, but there are fewer available opportunities. ICTs have a range of information and tools with capacity to create wealth for youth and end poverty. GSM 5G executive Ali Raza told UBC that there are opportunities for youth through training in ICT. We are holding 75% population youth in this country and they are the future. And around 20% they are having part of the jobs because of skill lacking according to me. That's why I want to spread software and hardware engineering, ICT technology to every youth. It will bring us independence, employment. Ezekiel Waiswa is a university graduate with a bachelor's degree in human resource management. He found a job as a cleaner in one of the phone shops in Kampala. He is now a hardware engineer with GSM 5G. When I came here, I came here when I was just a helper. Then in the long run, Mr. I trained me how to repair phones. We came with uh, my friends. Then all along now, that is now the, the job now we have to do. Statistics show that adoption to smartphones in Uganda is 16% creating avenue for youth to utilize ICT tools to do business. GSM 5G trained Waiswa in cellular phone repair and is among the over 200 youth trained by GSM 5G. Repairing is very good because when you have like these machines that I showed you, they are very easy. It is very easy because if you can put something in the microscope, they can make it very big and you see where you are repairing. You can repair very quickly and then it can save time for yourself and also for the person. But to complete the strategy on youth employment through ICTs, GSM 5G is seeking partnership with government on youth self-reliance. What is lacking in this country is skill. Giving to the youth, it is our pleasure. The moment they will learn ICT technology, they, the youth will be independent to create a job. The burden will reduce from the government to look a job for them and they will create their jobs by themselves. And I guarantee you, even they will create a job in their area for other people as well. From a human resource manager to an ICT compliant university graduate, Waiswa looks at a promising future. Oh, now I can't go now to human resource. You know now you can go there, you compete, you write letters there, then you become very tired. Now this job is very good for me because you use your head, then after you get something. This is the first intervention to create employment for youth in Uganda. What remains is policy to engage private sector players. Abiona Francisco, UBC News.